stuff he says. But that's his, that's, Ooh, that's what he does. Like, he just goes through and looks. He looks for government. He looks for all that. Nailed it. What he does every single day. <laughs> so you're first. So yeah, he's paranoid about some, some things. But it does turn out that he's absolutely correct about a lot of big things. He said, namely, Jeffrey Epstein. For a decade. <laughs> Chris, I'm awesome. recording. <laughs> That man's name. That man's name. And the monitor. <laughs> and the monitor. Or maybe, hey, maybe you'll go viral, dude. Oh, one of the two. <laughs> oh, jeez. But he was right about Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> no okay. matter what. Uh, I'm going to say... You should have Alex Jones on your, on your uh, show. I'm keeping I should have Alex Jones on my show. Play magic. What would he play? What would Alex Jones... And you play magic. W W A J P. You know, like the Hot One Show. Yeah. Do that with. Put the magic together. Yeah. There we go. Uh, I'm trying to figure this. This hand is weird. Um, we're doing no like the normal mulligan, right? Where you go to six and then go yeah. to five. Okay. In that case, I'll keep. I'll keep. I will pretend that this is a thing. Ah, this is terrible. All right, island pass. Oh, and by the way, by the way, blah, 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 blah. it's uh, Tetsuko Umazawa Fugitive Dude, versus Erebos, God of the Dead. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what his title is, Heavy Bear. Uh, you said it over here, right? Yeah. All right. If you're not playing Roblox there, people in T1 listener world... <laughs> My name is Bling Bling Ming. <laughs> on, uh, on Roblox. Pass. I I I don't I I don't know. Uh, Soul Ring. And Tetsuko. I have my commander out now. And spend that floating mana on a Sky Blinder staff. So plus, it, when it's equipped, plus one plus zero, and can't be blocked by creatures with flying. Which, yeah, no, faster. Tell, tell old dude facing yeah, bring shit up here play some magic. Tell support his local game store. Um, oh, this one is local. Okay. <sighs> Good times. Good times. I don't even know what are we even doing here. So, what are we even doing here? Smell is so fine. Equip. Cast Bone Saw. Hmm. E. Equip. So, are you at right now with that one? Oh, it's a 3 3. Okay. I'll hit you for 3. Alright. I mean, like, I'm like, right. Oh, sorry. Wait, do you mind if we move Erebus, please? Yeah. Okay. One, two, three. And then. There's commander damage. One, two, three. Alright. This may, <laughs> this may be a little bit tricky, but we'll make it work. And then. Uh, pass turn. We're going on the. Umizawa Voltron plan, apparently. This is not how the deck normally works, but we're, we had a weird hand, so we're pretending this is how it works. I'm not sure. I know there's a guy I went to high school with who's apparently friends with the guy who's opening it. Yeah. Who sent me, like, some survey. Yeah. Because he sends it to everybody in, like, the Upstate Magic the Gathering group or whatever. Yeah. What would you want to see? What would you like to see? Opposition yeah, agent. Yeah. Oh, that has flash. You can do it at the end of my turn if you like. Well, I'm tapped. Almost tapped out. That's fine. Uh, when an opponent is searching their library, they exile each card they find. You may play those cards for as long as they remain exiled. You may spin them as though it of any color to cast them. All right, cool. There we go. Note to self. Do not start searching anymore. <laughs> there is a reason why I took that out. This is me not blaming you one bit. All right, and that's turn? Yeah. It also is a blocker. So, fair is fair. It's also a blocker right now. It's Tetsuko uh, can be blocked now. It's she's a three three, which would take out my opposition agent at the same time. Uh, there's a few different. We'll we'll try. It. We'll pretend. Cloud of fairies cycle. I'm I'm just cycling it. Oh my god. Why deck? Why? 
fine. Uh, sure. It's got new tires. It needs an oil change. Mana Vault. Woo! Why is that still in here? And I'll return Island to hand to play a Coral Atoll. It taps for one in blue, but I have to return an untapped Island to my hand or sacrifice it. So, you know, that happens. Um, pass turn. Unblockable commander is being blocked. Are we good? So I know where you put our revolving skies. Ooh, is that a Cabal Coffers? Uh oh, yeah. it's about to get started. So I'll tap two for that. So I'll have one, two, three. Yeah, right now it doesn't net you any mana. Well, at least I still have that. Yeah. So you have two. So I'd have. You have two right now. I just want to oversell. Is that right? Oh. And some guy called today. You would need to have Urborg out to make Cabal Coffers tap for four, four right now. Yeah. Uh, because then Cabal Coffers would count as a swamp. Boxes, right now it only taps for three. Alright, uh, I'll just do that then. Alright, we'll rewind it. <laughs> yeah. And I'll tap all four, play my commander. Hi, Erebos. You cannot block right now. Thank goodness. And it's indestructible. Yep. And. Can't gain life. Technically, it's not even a creature. No, it's not. So, not anymore. All right. Do any, would you like to attack? Uh, yeah. Uh, Descendants or in white yeah. or whatever. Yeah. You will? Do. Okay. Wait. I mean, probably not a good idea. Oh uh, yeah. Because this is commander damage, and that's regular damage. I mean, you can, but. No, I won't yet. Alright. Whee! Alright. Come on, please. Thank you. Not a land. Not a land! I mean, I will take that. that bad. Oh, All wait. Right. I gotta figure out something, because there's a land I have in this deck that is not in English. So, oh, okay. I'll uh, Hopefully, I'll know it. Monastery Siege. It has two modes. I'm gonna put one for cons, two for dragons. I'm gonna do one for cons. At the beginning of your draw step, draw an additional card, then draw, or then discard a card. Draw an additional card, then draw a card. So just draw three cards every... No. <laughs> no. No. Jeez. Uh, and then we will... I guess the ideal thing is to play the same one, but I just gave away that I had it, so that's fine. I'm going to discard the one that doesn't match next turn anyway. Uh, and then we will pass the turn. And then I'll put a Reminder Squirrel on my deck. Reminder Squirrel reminds me to uh, draw this card. And this is actually that card. Hi! It's a German. Oh, that's I, fine. Yeah, I, I, I can figure what that is. German man? Yeah. German Swamp. A Swamp. Swamp of... in that way. Oh, hello. Let me just drop all of your cards really quickly. Swamp. So respectful over here. Actually, one more thing, please. Sorry. Yeah. Huh. So German has this thing where uh, words can be thrown together to make new words, mashed together. Standard land is basic land. Check it out. I mean, I, I obviously pronounced it in English, but it looks like standard, standard land. Standard land is basic land. <laughs> yeah. Yes. My uh, favorite German word it literally means world pain. It's Vilschmez, but it, it's translated to mean like sentimental pessimism. Oh, hi, Blood Cracker. Blood or Tracker, not Cracker. Blood Cracker would be. <laughs> Hello. How do you crack a lick? Whatever. Uh, blood. blood. I guess that works. Listen, guys. Hey. Here's the deal. Oh, man. Alex Jones knew about Jeffrey. <laughs> Can, you, Can, you Can you not? Bro. Can you not? Chris. He said that while he was on the <laughs> phone. <laughs> Alright, uh, anything else you charge? Uh, actually, since yes. I can now attack with these. Uh, not yet. This one doesn't have five devotion. Oh, right. <laughs> you can attack with this one, but not this one yet. It's at three. Yeah, just three. Each in the mana permits you control count. Oh, actually, yeah, I did. Jeffrey Epstein is not like a. For the. Can we not? Sorry. You're good. I appreciate it, Chris. You're fun. You're I actually can. You have the best How? ratings ever on this, on this particular 
Yeah, the but mana counts. those don't count. They don't have no, uh, the pips in them. Because right now, we're having this permanence. So, basically, we're trying to, we're working through devotion here. We're just two uh, dudes playing magic, talking about conspiracy theories. Doesn't that count for lands as well? No, lands don't count for devotion. It's literally the, the pips oh. that you see in the mana cost. Yeah. Yeah, not Very the ones that are created. Cost. Interesting. Or just Do I play, do yeah, I play the land? Or yeah. As they say down that <laughs> island. <laughs> oh my God, Chris! <laughs> Cuba. Cuba. <laughs> Putting the demon into monetize. Puerto Rico now. The oh, demon. The demon into monetized. The demon into monetized. Alright, so right now I can. Are we attacking with agent or nine? Uh, I would say no. Yeah. No. Okay. Pass. <laughs> Alright. So draw two. It's draw, draw, discard. I swear to God. Can I stop drawing lands, please? <laughs> All right, well, I'm start pulling more. Oh boy. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, that's fair. <gasps> I mean, you'll understand. Pass so. turn. No, don't, don't forget to activate. That's oh, fine. It's okay. If you had wanted to, you could activate that by paying two life to put a counter on it. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Do you have any cards in graveyard? I have two. I have island and cloud of fairies. I can't name right. Gone, baby, gone. So I have... Bajookabog, doing its thing. Now, that's not a swamp, so it won't help Cabal Coffers. No. And it does come in tap. I actually do have something it comes in for that. Okay. For later. Um, for Borg. This is really, this is not, I swear, this is not normally how the deck plays. I swear. Um, I'm just finding the weird side of my deck. You're not running <laughs> control, are you? I won't say, I won't say if I'm... I think you said that earlier. Oh no, that's in fact. We were talking about in fact. Uh, Legacy in fact can play control because of cards like Force of Will, but... I was asking stifle. Fight, but yeah. Oh, for this, it's Mono Blue. Just assume the answer is yes. <laughs> Oh, well, that's going to be rough, man. Yeah. Mono blue is counterspell. Counterspell, counterspell. Counterspell draw, counterspell draw. Except I found weird stuff this game, so... These are not normally going on Tetsuko. They're normally going on other stuff, but... The question is, do you have a counterspell in hand? Maybe. We do everything else okay. That's what I'm trying to work on. I'm trying to get that way. definitely do that better. If you're not sure, you can throw out a test spell. Like, not the ideal spell, but another spell to test it out to make sure that I don't have it. I have to wait till next turn. Oh, okay. But with that, I'd still have... Or I wouldn't have the mana for that yet, would I? No, it's tapped, so you'll have it next turn. So, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, but Jukabog, yeah, starts out by saying comes in tapped. Pass. Alright. Okay. Is that, like, is that any more? Uh, is nope, we're good. Like All right, thank you, reminder squirrel. Okay, we found stuff, and I need to discard a card, so we'll discard island, of course. Uh, how about... Hmm. Tap our games, Chris, we can help you. Wait, if I play a land next turn... I can help you, what's up? I'm running Cabal. I would like to tap uh, one, two, three. I would like to cast Steady Progress, which is draw a card, proliferate. So you draw a card? Yep, I draw a card. The right. proliferate doesn't do anything right now because nothing has a counter. <coughs> Hi, sure, you. Um, right on time. Games, right on time, buddy. On. Bad, yes, bad yes, card, bad. So All if right. I'll play Cabal next turn, tap right, two, how many would I have? If I have six, you would have, I play. You would spend two, gain five, three, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. You'd have nine mana. Alright, so let's go. Your mom's off partying in Gatlinburg? One, two, three, four. 
Uh, Jose, Jace, Architect of Thought. Can we remember that this is on cons so that I can put this on Jace? Yeah. All right. So, uh, do huh. you need another DOS or something? Not right now, I don't. Um, appreciate it though. We're going to minus J because he's about to die anyway. We're going to minus Jace. I'm going to look at the top three cards, reveal the top three cards of my deck. This is not searching, so Opposition Agent does not care. You, my friend, get to sort these three cards out into two different piles. I will pick one of those piles and add it to my hand. So you can do two and one, or one and two, or three and zero, oh, but don't do that. This is all it's in. Those are the top three. That one will be on one. Okay, I will take the cephalid constable. Figured. Yeah, and then the rest go in the grave. Yeah. Bottom of the library in any order. It's been a while since I've resolved this, so sorry. Give me a sec. In any order. So thankfully it doesn't matter. And it says what again? Oh. Check it out. Tar permanent supplier controls the owner's hand. I can't cast it this turn anyway. I don't have enough blue mana. Well this could or could not be over in the next two turns. Uh I mean I certainly have a, a preference. It's way more <laughs> dangerous for the public than COVID. It's people not washing their hands after they wipe their ass. <laughs> 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 One hundred out of a hundred times. Somebody has got COVID. They touch a doorknob after leaving the bathroom. Somebody's got somebody wipes their ass. Finger slips up in there. <laughs> got a little poo poo on there. So don't wash your hands and walk out of there touching that doorknob. You know I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a shard of broken glass and I'm going to. <laughs> That's a rough day. That's a rough day. I'm just saying. You're not wrong. Hundred times um, out of a hundred. Rhinovirus will eat COVID's butt. Pass turn. I don't know if you knew that or not. I'm just trying to I appreciate help educate this. guys. I'm trying to help educate. Uh, Adios. Uh, By the way, you you can be putting a bunch of counters on the blood tracker. Oh, it's also the You don't have to right now, but you can. All right, there's Cabal Coffers. I won't be here until Friday, but I'll All right. I'll do that first thing in the morning. When you tap it, yep. And tap it. One, two, three, four, five, because it doesn't count Bajukabog. Six, seven, eight, nine. If you tap them afterwards. One, two, three, four, five. Six, we have Cabal seven, Coffers nine, on two. field. It's a black EDH deck. That's how that works. That sounded racist. <laughs> yeah, that's that's good, man. Oh, you, oh, you guys are playing commander. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. This makes sense. Where's your commander at? That guy's your commander. Mine is Tetsuko. This is a really freaking weird game. <laughs> Oof. Technically, technically speaking, really freaking weird game. Really freaking weird. So, got none. Me too. So I'll just test theory this. Okay. Hey, I'm running across uh -oh. the street real quick, okay? Go for it. So I only need six for this. Yes. Blood tribute. Oh, hi. So three to get, or uh, you'll need to tap one more. But yeah, then, then you're good. Kicker, tap an untapped vampire. Would you like to tap an untapped vampire? Okay. Target so opponent loses half their life rounded up. If it was kicked, life. you gain life. Okay, cool. So I will go down to 20, and you gain 20 life. Now, there could have... Knowing that, I'd be very cautious. Yeah. Yeah. I'm at 20 life my next hand and I will pass for them okay all right cons even Give though this is now a creature uh, one two that's three, a sorcery four, it's five. this is in the graveyard now oh. all right so draw two discard one I'll discard the one that uh, opposition agent won't let me cast <laughs> that's fun yeah it works. It definitely worked. Um, let's see. We'll go colorless, colorless. Blue. Blue. So spend blue, blue, colorless. There's colorless floating. On a cephalid constable. And... 
Oh, wait a minute. That's fine. It, it's probably a little late now, but it, I already have colorless floating, so let's do this now. All right. All right. Sorry, Jace. I'm going to minus you again. Better late than never. Oh, wait a minute! Cyclonic Rift is in the deck! I forgot I added it in after last time. Okay. And that's probably going to be the one you take, so... Yeah. Let's just make it easier. Yeah, I mean, that's just coming right in. That's right. And so the last time that goes... I played, I didn't have Cyclonic Rift, and so I could not... Uh, I couldn't save myself in a certain spot, and so I added it back in. So yeah, I have Cyclonic Rift. Ah! Hey, Chris, I might have a Cyclonic Rift to sell to you. What happened? I might have a cyclonic rift to sell to you. Oh yeah. I mean, Are I have colorless floating. Uh, Where do you want to see all this place? You guys want some chips and sauce? I'm actually almost dead just from the blood crack. Jake. But oh, it's chips and sauce. Sure, that's good. Thank you. I'm almost dead just from the blood tracker. These are brought to you by Puerto Nuevo. Hey, Puerto Nuevo. Westminster, South Carolina. Newport. If you're hungry. <laughs> Tap started advertising for That's the for restaurant across the, the right street. Across the street bro. Heck yeah, now there we go. So the question is, do uh, you so want to see how this goes? Or? This becomes a 5-5 five, five next turn, and then if you play a, a swamp, then you get 11 mana next turn, and yeah, then it becomes a 16-16, sixteen, sixteen, and I'm only at 20. Well... I mean, yeah, I, I, you haven't yet, so I figured, but, all right, so there's one colorless floating. So the question is... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I can actually do all the things. <sighs> I want to see if I can do this. Yeah, we're going to spend blue on Skyship Plunderer, and then we're going to tap everything to Cyclonic Rift your board. So, well, actually, I don't have to do that now. What am I doing, Jay? I mean, you ha you know I have Cyclonic Rift, so there's no point in really holding it back much. I mean, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I cannot do that anymore because I had to spend two mana, one floating and the a new blue, in order to do it. So actually, I can't overload it. You have a turn of reprieve. So in that case, in that case, I have a 2-1 flyer to block your infinity infinity over there. Uh, in that case, we will start stacking a bunch of stuff onto Cephalid Constable for these, and... Eh. Eh. As Gunner would say. Eh. The question is, what will I do? Uh, tap tap conceit? That's no. the hope? No. No, you will not do that. This no. is me not blaming you. Uh, pass turn. I mean, I still have it in hand, so if I need to, I can fire it off, but early. Is that another Vesuva? Oh, no, Vesuva comes in tapped. Um, but I can still use... You can still make it a copy of Cabal Coffers, but it comes in tapped, so you can use it next turn. Can't this turn, though. I know. I remember playing Twelve Post in back in the day. That was my first legacy deck. Twelve Post, like actual legacy deck, finished legacy deck. So I still only have t uh, nine. Uh, for right now, yes. Only have nine mana. <laughs> I actually have no room to speak. I have two mana rocks mm. out. Yeah, that comes in untapped. Um. Hmm. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Do I have nine for that? Yeah. I can't use this. Not yet. So you will next turn. If my Cephalid Constable doesn't stop you first. I mean... Yeah. You, you really need to kill this thing. Kill this thing now if you can. I can. Uh, go for it then. So. Hey, what's up? 
So not only will I do that, I will go ahead and tap three, yep. play Vito. Hi, Vito. I will. So you're at four devotion, one more, and you get to turn it on, and you get a free ice cream. Okay, that's cool. Sure. One, two, three. Uh, so I can attack. Can I? Uh, not yet. Not with Erebos. You can attack with Opposition Agent and Blood Tracker, but not Erebos. Would that take that out? No, because I, I could just not block. I mean, then you'd kind of be fucked at that point either way. Because you said that was a what? Well, it's not yet, but if you were for every black you pay and every two life you pay, it gets a plus one plus one counter, yeah. and then you can keep adding counters to it every turn. And since you can gain life, you know, you can make it huge. You haven't been though. Um, is the reason I was. So what would it be at if I paid literally everything that I'm right now? Well, you already cast Vito, so if you had tapped Cabal Coffers for, well, you, you can do that now anyway. That's fine. Um, one, two, three, four, five. Well, it would have been three for, for Vito, because he's three mana. Yeah, uh, but then, yeah, well, you can tap two for Cabal Coffers, and then it would be one, two, three, four, five, plus the Bajuka Cabal is six. So you could do it six times and make it an eight, eight. With flying. I can't block it. Oh, uh, no, I can't. I can't. I have a flying creature now. With flying? Yeah, it, it has flying. Which Blood checker flies for some reason. Yeah, yeah, it's tricky. You actually did mess me up a little bit with the opposition agent because I had a transmute artifact in hand, so I couldn't search my library. Yeah. Um. I need that extra mana. Look, if you can, if it's possible. Kill this thing. I mean, yeah. do I have anything to do it? I don't know what's in your hand, but at least from on board, you don't. At least on board now. Hmm. Oh, you go figure. Yeah, like I said, everything. Right. So the reason is because when this thing deals damage, it can bounce stuff to your hand. It can start bouncing permanents back to hand. Although you have so many on board, it's not necessarily the end of the world. It's just it's no, not but it won't let good. me do what I need. Yeah. I mean that will literally mess me up. That's the problem. No, I believe you. I do. Once this is untapped, that's game yeah, pretty much. Cool, yeah. Torment of Hellfire, X this equals guy. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Stuff like that. Oh, I see two well, cards. Right in, right? Yeah, yeah you kind of see where that's going. Do you have anything to do this turn, though? Uh-uh. Not really? Why wouldn't I? I don't know. So that means you're going to bounce one of my permanents back? Uh... It gets oh, worse than that. So, Monastery Siege, draw two, discard one. I will discard... Wait, it gets worse? How? Oh, it gets, it gets way worse. Oh, crap, let me just show you what that card is. Sorry. Um, here's how. Uh, we're going to equip Bonesaw and Shard of Broken Glass. They each equipped for one, and this made two mana. So, Cephalid Constable is a one on its own, two, three, four power creature. It's a four one. Now, because its toughness is one, Tetsuko Mazawa says creatures you control with power or toughness one or less can't be blocked. So, it has toughness one, that means it can't be blocked. So, I got these right here. I'm just going to put these in real quick. Ah. You know where you you know what's about to happen here. Um, you can't go for lethal, can you? No, no, we're very far from lethal. But what I can do. How far is, from lethal are you? Uh, uh, fifty-seven to twenty. Are you as far as? I'm not gonna do it. No. <laughs> there are these. Um, so we are going to 
hits you for four, only deals four, except when it connects, and you can't block because Tetsuko. Uh, when it connects, I get to return four permanents you control to their owner's hand. So, Cabal Coffers, Vesuva, Blood Tracker, Vito. And then... The only issue you're about to have is figuring this out. One, two, three, four, five. I will take control of your opposition agent. Uh, and, and it has infect. I thought you weren't running infect. I'm this is well the, this has some infect in it. This is it, it makes you have infect effectively. It steals a creature and then gives it infect, so yay, good times. Um, you know, and then job taking good care of him. Oh, yeah, pass turn. This is a weird hand. Yeah, like I said, wow, no okay, I only need three turns. Okay, I literally only need three. Exactly. So that's coming back for one. Yeah, fair enough. You still have a ton of mana to work with. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five swamps. So if you tap it, then you'd have one, two, one, two, three, four on top of it. So you have nine mana still, if I'm seeing that correctly. One, two, three. Okay. Sometimes I don't pick up like. Yes, yeah, so you still have nine mana up. Just so I don't have to look for all the billion different versions of lightning bolt. Yeah. Mm. I do that. I do that sort of thing too. I think I did that today. With Teamer Battle Rage. So. Not for I'm all the versions, that. but just to find them. So I have none. Yeah. I'll tap four, bring Blood Tracker back. Mm hmm. Um, Five left. Here are those other three lightning bolts if you're interested in. Yep. Are they foil or not foil? Okay, three. The same, same art. Veto? Okay. Bring Veto back, yeah, so. I uh, still so got what two? Well, th I was assuming that you tapped the cabal coffers. Well, yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Well, yeah, you should two. still have two open. I really want to pull this off, but you kind of set me back a little bit. Yeah. But if I can get the next three turns, I might be able to do something big. Anything else? Uh-uh. All right. So please do not do that again. I have. It, it's a. It's going to happen every turn, unfortunately. That's the. That's what this thing does. I actually have played modern with this little guy before. He's uh, I ain't got anything for that right now. Because I've literally set this deck up for this. Yeah. All right. We'll drop Shimmer of Possibility. That's the card I was holding on to. On which I was holding. Um, hmm. Hit you for four. We will bounce Cabal Coffers, Swamp, Swamp, Swamp. I mean, three of your with swamp. that, could I not block yeah. now? Because of Tetsuko. Uh, creatures yeah, I control with power or toughness, one or less, can't be blocked. Purchased. It has one toughness. Because all of the equipment improve its power, but not its toughness. So yeah, that that's about to happen every turn now, and it's going to put you further and further back each turn. Um, and then I can cast one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Mind's Dilation. Whenever you cast your first spell each turn, you exile the top card of your deck, and I can play it if it's a non-land. I got every bit I could. People definitely have uh, sold out. And then play. Uh, actually, I don't need to do that. That's fine. Um, pass turn. And it's wow. Wait. Have you tried playing it? Do you know how the game plays? I tried. I sat down. No fucking way. Do it. Do it. Kill this thing. I can, actually. Do it. First. 
but um, but it yeah. is it does I do like so that, that fourth dimension. Uh, Obnixilis is cruelty. Yep, that's yeah, a way to dimension. kill it. Like, All right, it's exile. It breaks down that fourth exile. Wall. Says, yep. Okay, so that just fixed that. Like yes. I won't be able to keep doing that to you. Yeah. Turn after turn. Okay. Like now I can actually do. Now I can actually hit you. It still can't attack yet. You still don't have devotion five or greater. No, but these can. They can. Yep. So that's three, unless you are using blockers. This one flies, so I'd have to block it here, but this one does not, so I'd, I could block it here or here. Wouldn't that well, go back to my... It would go back to... It would die, go in your graveyard. No, yeah. I mean, wouldn't that come back already? The right, enchantment's so still 40, there, though. 60, so 40, like, the enchantment's still controlling it. So that's as long as the enchantment's still there? Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, no, I don't there think we go. So. It's been a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, Sullivan, make right. Two elves? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You're going to have all the lands in the world at this rate. Yeah, I've, uh, M -C -B -R -I -D -E. I've got everything I need. I just need to set them back down. Yeah. So now that I have actually a chance, pass. All right. Because you can't do that again. That's right. I can't. There's no way in this deck for me to get it out of exile. Well, in this. Wait a deck, minute. Did you? What did you spend three mana? Oh, Obnixil. I was supposed to cast Mind. Ah, oh, it's fine. It's fine. I missed it. I was supposed to use Mind Dilation. For what? Uh, for its ability. When they cast their first spell each turn, that player exiles the top card of their library. If it's a non land. Uh, I'll I'll cast it. Sure. Need your archive. I actually here. did not need it right now. Yeah, fair enough. Oh, and then Monastery Siege, draw another. What on What's earth? What's that even doing, right? It makes mana. I mean, uh, you can literally tap and draw two more. Let's see. I'll drop... Peak. Alright, because I know a lot of what's in your hand already. All right, so yeah, we can but go there's still four cards you don't. One, two. Blighted Agent. There's a little bit of Infect. There's like five Infect cards in the deck. Uh, we'll go one, two, three. Tandem Lookout. Paired with uh, Tetsuko. So paired with Soul Bonded means as long as it's paired with another creature, each of them gains an ability. So because this is paired with Tetsuko, both of them have a new ability. And that is whenever this creature deals damage to an opponent, draw a card. So I will go uh, attack you with just Tetsuko. She can't be blocked. Because she has one power, so she can't be blocked now. It's only going to deal one to you, but I'll get to draw a card. And it's commander damage. Boop. Four commander damage. Alright, so I'll draw. Well, hi. That's that's always fun. Uh, I'll cycle Lonely Sandbar, so I just discard it, draw a card. Either uh, something that's really solid Sure. I'll cast. Fabricate. I have two mana floating from the. Oh, excuse me, no, I don't. This only makes two. Never mind. I have no mana floating. Fabricate. This lets me, lets me search for an artifact. Add it to my hand. And now there's no opposition agent on your side, so now I can do that. I can do that sort of thing. Don't feel bad. I'm counseling. <laughs> I believe you. I believe it. can't draft those. I literally don't enough. know where I'm at with my deck, so yeah. the fun thing is figuring out what I'm going to do next. Oh, by the way, I do have a Tomb of Yagma. Okay, before I finish resolving, I need to uh, just look at my graveyard. And yeah, Tomb of Yagmoth is really good. Oh my god, okay, fine. We'll finish this. We'll get a Rune Chanter's Pike. 
Uh, the creature has first strike and plus X plus O, where X is the number of instants and sorceries in my graveyard. Which is how many? Five. So it's only five, five? It would be plus five plus O. So if it's like a one power creature, then now it's a six one. Uh, you can cut it if you'd like. Alright, and then we will cast and equip. And I need to put a reminder on here for uh, Mana Vault. I need to put a reminder on Mana Vault so I don't forget its life. Uh, and then pass turn. Uh oh. Um, quick question. Yeah? What's Fortel? Oh, Fortel? Um, crap, there's so many mechanics. Which one is Fortel? Uh, oh, oh, it's gonna be really obvious once I... Someone in the comments is now getting mad at me for not remembering what Fortel is off the top of my head. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, Kaldheim. Okay, cool. So Fortel is, anytime during your turn, you may pay two mana and put it in exile. On any other turn, you can cast it from exile by paying its Fertel cost. So, like, if the cost for uh, Fertel is, I don't know, like, uh, one in black, then you can pay two mana to Fertel, and then after... its Fertel cost is reduced by two? Oh, it's that guy! That's... okay, so you... Let me put it this way. Yeah. So, cast this dude. Okay, I need to resolve Mind's Dilation first. I'll cast it, sure. Uh, it's a uh, Mage Hunter. Whenever they cast it, copy an instant source of this one life. Cool. There's some okay. Every non-land card has Fortel. So you can now, if you have another non-land card in your hand, you can pay it, you can pay two mana to put it in Fortel. You can put it in Exile. And then in the future, on another turn, you can play it for that cost minus two. It's, uh, like the, those are all like 34 So like if you have a cost that, a card that costs black and three, you can foretell it for okay. two, and then on a future turn it'll cost black and but one because it's two cheaper. Yeah. I don't think the mage hunter is going to help me out very much. So we're just gonna keep it. It's just the three four that makes it where you lose one life if you cast instant sorcery, that's all. They lose life. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's oh, no. Shit. Dude, dude, I'm, I'm not... You're at 48. I don't think that's what's going to matter in a bit. No, but... That's not let me do much. Luckily, I still have, what, three floating uh, yeah, swamps? Yeah, you still have some extra mana oh. to go. Now that, that's now a swamp. Oh, you have Herbore. Yep, it's a swamp. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's gonna be funny. Um, okay. That's all I can do right now, actually. Okay. Alright. We're gonna make some weird stacks coming up in a second. Alright. I'm not liking the fact that you took out swamps. Alright, so what, what was I supposed to remember? Uh, mana Vault. We're gonna pay to untap Mana Vault. And then draw two. Discard one. Ha, ha, hardy, hardy, har. Ah, uh, I mean, we're gonna discard curiosity. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. We have to discard gush. I, I'm sorry, Stephen Menendian. I'm sorry. We have to discard gush. There's a rune changer's pike out. I have to. Why? Because it, it it improves the power of rune changer's pike. So we can go one, two, three, uh, one, two, three. I don't know why I untapped that. I don't know why I bothered. Uh, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. To put Sky Blinder, Staff, which is three, Bone Saw, which is one, and Shard of Broken Glass, which is one. That's their equip cost. So five mana, and I spent five mana. Blinded Agent is a 1-1 one, one unblockable creature with Infect, and Rune Chanter's Pike now improves its power by 6. It was 5, but I added Gush to my graveyard. So Gush, Fabricate, Peak, Shimmer, Transmute, Artifact, Steady Progress. 
So it's uh, one on its own, plus six, make it seven. Eight, nine, ten. Swing for ten. Can't be blocked. And right. it's in fact. So that's game? That's game. Dude, really? <laughs> Alright, so you had the combo in hand. I knew you had the combo in hand. Not I had to mention. I had Cyclonic Rift in case in case it mattered. Yeah. Plus um, everything being a swamp. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, good good which, times. Which, by the way, one, two, three, four. Four turns in, so... I'll give you your cards back. So uh, then... So the Cyclonic Rift didn't two, matter. Three, I'm glad for four. that. Yeah? More swamps, and... There we go. Which, uh... I'm sorry. Vine Witch Coven. Vine Witch. Okay. Vine Witch Coven. Okay. I keep wanting to call it from Witch's your Coven for some creature reason. Creature from your graveyard. Which... Level one, I guess. Okay. Yeah. And then everything else would have been mana stuff. So if I could make one recommendation, absolutely card. put some counters on that thing. Because I, I might very well have been dead if you had been putting counters on it and then attacked me with it over and over. Um, I think I probably would have. Uh, I mean, with how many lands I currently had, I think you would have been uh, probably two turns ago. It could very well be. That's just something to keep in mind for later. Even though it costs two life to do, your deck gains so much life, that's not really a problem. You have so much mana and so much life, it's fine to dump 20, 30 life into it so that you can kill me with it quickly. I mean, after a song set down, there was Soul Ring yeah. and Signet. Swamps like crazy. All the swamps. All Eliminate. of the swamps. Yeah. Player of acceptance, Gonti. Okay. Oh, good old Gonti. Texture e Caster. Cabal Therapy. If I if I had to make a suggestion, that that's basically it. Try to put more pressure on me early. Especially in like a one-on-one -on -one situation like this, um, you know, reckless fight. Yeah, yeah. That kind of work really well if I got my hands on it. Three mana, two for one. That's not bad at all. Two for one, and you would also lose five life. Yeah, at the same it, time. it's commander. Five life is. Also, I had a dark ritual. Ooh,